Russia is sending warships to Syria right now to protect it from Turkey's invasion in northern Syria, which is being carried out in alliance with al Qaeda. President Trump needs to make it very clear to NATO and Turkey's Erdogan that the United States will not be dragged into a war with Russia by the aggressive Islamist expansionist dictator of Turkey via NATO. The corporate media needs to stop referring to al Qaeda and their affiliated groups in Idlib as quote unquote rebels in a deceptive effort to make them seem like freedom fighters. I and thousands of Americans enlisted after al Qaeda's attack on 9 11. And the media and the Trump administration's continued labeling of these terrorists as rebels is a disgrace and dishonors all of our men and women in uniform and our entire country. Turkey's been supporting ISIS and al Qaeda terrorists from behind the scenes for years. But now Turkey is being forced to come out from behind the curtain and expose the role that they've been playing in the years long effort to overthrow the Syrian government. Turkey's Erdogan wants to create an Islamist caliphate in Syria, reestablish the Islamist Ottoman Empire, and is working with al Qaeda and other terrorists to achieve his goal. He wants to be the caliph in the new Islamist caliphate of his creation. Turkey's Erdogan is not our friend. He's one of the most dangerous dictators in the world, and the United States government and media have no business helping this Islamist megalomaniac and his al Qaeda partners. It is long past time for Congress to pass my Stop Arming Terrorists Act, which would prevent our government from assisting countries like Turkey who are aiding our enemy, Al Qaeda. And every presidential candidate needs to tell the American people where they stand. Will they support passage of my Stop Arming Terrorists Act?